Yeah, yeah. One more. One more. <laughs> okay, one, one last one. You have to go stop. No, one last one. Ah, <laughs> I got her. What's up, everybody? Muscles and glitter. Checking in through my iPhone 11 Pro. We're ditching the camera today. Today is a unplanned video. Uh, little update and a little donuts. Yeah, so we're kind of just going to update you guys on what's going on in our lives and include a little bit of donuts, of course, because that's us. But uh, yeah, we're going to give you guys a little update as far as what our goals are and what our channel is going to be consisting of moving forward for the time being. Um, Jenny's hungry. Yeah, so we're, uh, we found out about a new donut spot thanks to... Shout out to Alexa, my coworker. She um, told me that she saw it on TikTok and she's like, you probably already know, but I did not know. So now we know. Thank you so much. And Thank you. She told me yesterday and I had to go today. So what is it called? Beacon? Yeah. Beacon Donuts up in the north side. It's all vegan donuts, which if you know it's me... It's like an Armitage and Halsted. Super cute yeah. spot. I haven't tried them, so, but... I, heard I haven't been there. Jenny went to go pick it up this morning on her way to work. So thank you so much. Um, I couldn't go with her today because I had a job interview, which if all things go well, we'll let you guys know where that's at uh, in the future video. Um, but yeah, here are the donuts. I kind of digged into one already because I wanted him to eat it. Yeah, I couldn't wait. So start right here we got the vegan cookies and cream they're all vegan by the way they're all vegan we got vegan s'mores vegan birthday cake vegan german chocolate cake and vegan mimosa not mimo samosa Samo Samo? something like that. Uh, the girl scout cookie y'all know what it is all right so, um, I guess since I already bit this donut, give you guys a quick review, remind myself what it tastes like. None of these donuts have booty holes, but somehow it's stuffed. I don't know how they did it. It's magic. It's vegan. So Mo really likes cookies and cream, and he said it was better than the one from Donovan, and that one was really good. So that's it's got cream awesome. filling in it, like, and it's a cake donut, and because it's vegan, it's like the calories don't count. Nah, just kidding. Calories mm -hmm. do count, but not as much. I don't know. It's just something healthier about it, and it's not eating? fried. I, they're all baked. All these donuts are baked, so you don't get all those nasty oils. When it comes to like all these new diets coming out, it's just something that makes your body feel a lot healthier. So if you can't eat certain ingredients, when you stick to a certain diet that goes better with your body, then you're not going to feel bloated or you're not going to get acne or you're not going to get some sort of like reaction which is why i think that's kind of the cool thing about the diets it's not for everyone you have to find one that works for your body yeah and the cool thing is that our society is kind of coming up with a lot of really delicious things that go with certain diets already so i know that do right has some vegan donuts but these look a lot more tasty just like by the look of them so that's cool that you know everyone's kind of coming up with really delicious healthier alternatives or i wouldn't say healthier but healthier for each individual that chooses a diet in particular yeah i mean if if you're someone who's vegan or thinking about being vegan or incorporating vegan foods i definitely I, after one bite i definitely recommend these um i don't really believe in diets per se as far as like if it's for like a weight loss thing but if it's for health reasons and you feel like you just feel healthier by going vegan or, you know, eliminating certain foods, I'm all for it, you know, because diets long-term don't work out for weight loss. You're most likely to rebound and end up gaining more weight in the long-term because you're depriving yourself of certain foods. For me, I am not vegan by any means. I'm not even pescatarian because I like to eat meat and chicken and turkey from time to time. We eat everything. Um, I do like to eat a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies. I don't really pig out on junk food unless it's donuts. Really um, so, if I'm leaning more towards like 
vegan alternative for my junk food, then I'm not really losing that much. Actually, I feel like I'm winning. I'm always winning with him on my side. Um, cheesy. <laughs> if you guys um, have been following me on social media, um, back in like February, I had announced that I was going to do my second competition in May. However, it got postponed. Well, first it got canceled, then now it's postponed. And I chose another one, or we chose it, based on when we think we, I would be ready. And we decided that... My girl stays ready. We decided that my, I'm going to compete November 7th of this year, 2020. And I'm really excited. And we do... I went to go pick up the donuts. I wish we took... I went to go pick them up and I got them because I know that Mo wanted to try them and I'm always up for getting him anything he wants because I love him. She likes to watch me eat. I do. And I thought it would be a cool time to do a video um, to show you guys uh, that he could eat them. And a lot of the times um, people feel bad when I can't eat stuff but even him, he feels bad that I can eat it but I have to remind him that this is a choice is not a disability like i'm choosing to um, participate in this competition and i'm really excited so i'm still having delicious things i have a protein shake right here that i'm eating it with my peanut butter um ezekiel bread i think he wants to talk mimosa samoa simona the whatever this thing is called it's freaking amazing it's got caramel it's got chocolate coconut i think it's like almond shavings some something on here but just the mixture of all this together and this was actually the one I thought that was going to taste the least appealing. Okay, so what was the cookies and cream? That was a solid ton. Cookies and cream, solid ton. I'm like, that was amazing. As soon as I took my first bite into it and like the cream hit my tongue, I was like... <laughs> this one, the caramel is really rich on here. And just like the dough itself, like th these are cake donuts. So it's like, man, I'm just thinking like if they made a Tres Leches cake... Mm. Oh my god, this would but all right back to this one this Samoa. I hope it's I'd give it an eight and a half out of ten It's really 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 good, especially in its class of it being a cake donut back to you Why well, didn't you give it a ten? Just because I'm not like huge on all these like you know me I'm like peanut butter chocolate cream, but it's good. I, re I like it I mean if I was going back and I would get a half dozen again, this would be on it. Oh no, they had a lot more they actually had some sold out already, and I got there pretty early. I forgot what I was talking about, but I know I was talking about the competition. I thought it would be a cool video to show that when you commit to a goal, that it's okay to still be around the foods that you potentially will eat eventually. And um, like I said, a lot of people always feel bad. They're like, oh, I'm eating pizza. You can eat it. I'm sorry. Like, don't feel bad. I This is a choice. Um, I'm enjoying the progress that I'm seeing in my body. So that's a plus for me. I mean, I'll eat this again. It's not like I'm not going to eat them ever. If anything, he'll tell me which ones he thinks I'll like because he knows my taste buds. But it, it is a way to show um, also, what is that word? Discipline. Discipline. She is very disciplined. If that's one thing I can, if, like, that's one adjective I can give to Jenny that she is very disciplined once she sets her mind to something so she has my full support i know i'm testing her willpower with this um, really i'm good i do like to smell you could ask my family you could ask mo that i will like get full off of smelling the food <laughs> it's not my birthday this one actually doesn't smell all that great this one this to? one does it smells so good that i i'm like Yummy <laughs> palagi. It's good. And if you guys don't already know, you know my favorite is like anything birthday cake sprinkles. So this one looks amazing. It kind of looks like the do right birthday cake one. So guys, peep peep these fingers. <laughs> he got his first manicure. And pedicure I got my first for our manicure pedicure for our anniversary. Jenny surprised me. She took me to her spot. Uh, got treated. Uh, pretty nicely. They gave me a nice foot massage. Low key, the best thing about it was the massage chair that we were sitting on while we were getting the pedicure. Man, I think we were on there for at least an hour and it was hitting all the right spots. Mm -hmm. like, it felt really, really good. Yeah, I mean... Would you recommend it for your... To any of the guys? homies, to any of the guys, it's really not that feminine. I mean, you're taking care of yourself. Like, if you do it once in a while, like, you're not losing anything, you know? Our feet need love. Our feet need attention, too. Like, we walk... 
a lot we run a lot we work out you know whatever it is that you may do your your feet are in socks and shoes all day so they need to air out they need some refreshing yeah i mean it's personal hygiene take care of yourself yeah i definitely think that it was a really um good way to celebrate our anniversary we're gonna add it to our to-do things for fun okay not as good as donut vaults birthday cake but because donut vault knocked it out the park but it's better than stan's birthday cake and i really had liked that one what about the red? better this one's better better than the red. in my opinion it's better these donuts they don't taste fake like i mean it's got hella sprinkles on here and like frosting but it really doesn't taste fake like overdone with too much sugar i guess the fact that they're that they're not fried i like them i like them more so the reason i'm eating donuts right now is because i am not doing a bodybuilding competition or a men's physique competition this year well he could if you want it because look at him look at him sometimes jenny says i can sometimes she says I can. <laughs> my goals i just you know like to keep her motivated she likes to test me. She knows that I like being told I can't do something because then that motivates me to want to do it even more. The reason I'm eating these donuts is because I love donuts and I'm currently training for a marathon. So I recently he did like hit my goal so many of running a half marathon, which is 13.1 miles. Show them how many steps you got. It's only 240 in the afternoon. It's only 240. Some people say they can do 10,000 steps a day. It's only 240, so he still has a long time to go, and he has 16,805, and it's only two in the afternoon. That was from me running eight miles this morning to Jenny's house. <laughs> Uh, that's so, so cute i'm like making breakfast and then he has all well, the doors open so he just comes and i'm like what surprise motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> but that's a cute surprise i love seeing him before we i was on my run originally it was supposed to be just like an easy six mile run easy six miles i was three miles in on my route and my route kind of like if i were to keep taking my route it would lead me towards jenny's house so i was three miles in i'm like well might as well go all the way to her house it's like roughly six and a half miles to her house from my house but i'm extra so i had to add a little more miles mo miles and i hit 8.3 miles running my goal at the beginning of the year was to do a half marathon which i completed not legitimately like in an actual race because everything has been canceled recently, but I did do it on my own and I passed my goal and I hit 15 miles, which is my, my PR right now. I had to set a new goal for myself, which is now to do a full marathon, which is 26.2 miles. And ideally I would love to do that by before the end of the year. And that is my goal for this year. And hopefully next year, more miles, still gonna be carrying on the more miles, but um, not as much. I wanna move more towards biking so that way I can maintain muscle mass and start to compete again. I would like to do one more competition before I hang up my belt and retire. I doubt you'll just do one more. Who knows? That's kind of like where we're both at as far as uh, our goal wise. Um, and how that carries into the channel is we'll probably still do videos like this, more like kind of like lifestyle updates, maybe like workout videos. I think we want to do like more videos of like grocery hauls, kind of like updates personally, like on my miles, like where I'm at, where she's at, as far as like physique, um, weight, you know, we could, anything you guys want to hear or know about us, like we'll be more than willing to like let you guys know. Um, if you're interested to see like, well, we've been seeing a lot of, um, like what people eat in a day. So if you're interested to know like what we eat in a day. So I know I'd like to see that from other people or we'll probably vlog my competition day. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna vlog that. Yeah. So there might be tears, but know that it's just part of it. It's part of it. Stay tuned guys. You know, stay with us, support us, please. Like we love you guys. Jenny, she's a trooper, she's disciplined. She's taking on this challenge of uh, competing on stage again. For anyone interested, it, it is November 7th. It is the Kevin Noble Warrior in Rockford. So that is her, her deadline, that is her date. She is gonna compete November 7th. As for me, I'm still like up in the air as to when I will hit that marathon because everything is canceled, but I'm I'm just gonna like set a date and attack it. So this is the s'mores, guys. It looks like they just put a marshmallow on top and torched it. Oh, 
babe, I've been eating them wrong. Wow. It's because since I'm not eating them, I don't even. I'm not. You can correct me. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like this really good. It does have like the graham cracker on it. I want to say this is dark chocolate on top, which I personally like. You know, I think it's really good. And the marshmallow itself, like, check that out. Like, it it never hardened up. It's still really soft, so it goes good with the donut. It gives a nice different texture to it. I've never really had a good s'mores donut that I like, but this is this is up there. I, I don't wanna... think you would ever eat marshmallows with that. Them. Yeah, I'm not I'm not into marshmallows like that. So um, this 9 out of 10. I like it I was not gonna get it because he's not really into that, but it looked good I'm gonna do one more, one more. <laughs> mm. I don't know if that's a vegan marshmallow, but that is really really good Like I don't know if marshmallow no marshmallows are made out of gelatin, right? I have no idea. So yeah, I'm guessing it's a vegan marshmallow. It's really really good 9 out of 10 Fantastic. Been high numbers today. Yeah. I mean, just the base of itself. Like, when you have a good quality base for the dough, it's really, like, they they're all going to be solid. And then it the just base. really depends on what kind of toppings you put on top. And it's all personal preference after that point. Because the base for all the all these donuts, they're all the same. They all taste amazing. It's, like I said, it's just based on personal preference. I'm more towards, like, cookies and cream. So that's why I gave it a 10 out of 10. Uh, the s'mores is really good. The, surprisingly, the Samoa is, you know, it's really good as well. The birthday cake, it tastes like a birthday cake. It really just depends, like, what's your personal preference. But so far, like, just they've all been so good. Beacon Donuts, again, guys, if you're interested, if you want to go check them out. So this is the German chocolate cake. Shout out to my friend Christy. After she saw me post it, she said she was going to tell me about it, but... She saw it on TikTok and then it erased, but she said she was going to tell me, so I appreciate that. So this looks like there's caramel on top, chocolate, and I don't know what that is. But it is a chocolate base. Maybe yeah. like um, coconut? It might be. And then it's like frosted with glaze. All right. I've seen the face you made as I've been into it. Is it hugging you? I'm rocking you. I'm telling you it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Sending shivers down my spine. I really love the chocolate cake base on you. It's really, really good. The caramel, again, they really did the caramel justice on these donuts. It tastes really, really good, especially with the dark chocolate. This thing is just, it's packed full of different flavors. I did taste coconut, so I'm guessing that's what's on top. And I'm not knocking it. I like it. So, uh, most favorite vegan donut was from the chocolate one from do right was is it still no. i'm sorry do right as of right now cookies and cream from beacon it's my favorite and it's no knock to do right but they're a donut shop that makes donuts obviously they make chicken and they have like gluten-free variety they have vegan variety so it's not their they're like specialty. their specialty like what they're known for so this place specializes in vegan donuts so it's only right that they they're gonna put out their best. Yeah, that they're gonna be the best in the game at vegan donuts. I mean, I've only had three different kinds of vegan donuts uh, from this place. One one being Beacon, the other one being Do Right, and then Fire Cakes. Fire Cakes did not like it. It was too much, too much chocolate, too much sugar. It was like the mousse on there was way too strong. I did not enjoy it at all. But um, Beacon, definitely give them a try, guys. They're only open um, Thursday to Sunday, I believe like 7 to 3, so definitely check them out, I will one day. After her competition, it'll be like, like... If I still like donuts. It'll be after we go get Mariscos, after we go get Fogo, after we go to Chama, after we go to get Labriola because yes, Jenny like, wants pizza. Yes, I'm um Yeah, thank you guys if you guys made it this far in the video. We have another surprise. Coming up soon, we're trying to figure out when we're gonna um, be making that video. We just wanna make sure that it comes out perfect. But yeah, we're still here. We're still going and there's a lot of stuff coming up. So we appreciate you guys. We love you. Send us um, ideas. Um, and thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. Please be sure to smash that like button for us. Um, 
leave a comment let us know what you think let us know what kind of donuts interested you if you've tried beacon let us know your thoughts on that uh, if you have any comments questions concerns about my personal goals as far as running a marathon any questions comments concerns for jenny on her road to competing again and getting first place because we all know she will um let us know and uh yeah muscles and glitter until next time checking out bye guys